Hey guys, it's Ian here from Fantastic Dimensions. This is a bit of a video response to video responses. Um, I've seen a lot of videos the last couple of days, people responding to stuff on, you know, how to roll stats and whether or not it's um, a legitimate tactic for GMs and stuff to, to uh, you know, fudge dice rolls and things of that sort. Um, particularly, I'm responding, I suppose, to uh, Maps and Dragons and Yarl DM's discussion about rolling 3d6 straight down the line for statistics. And I don't know where the original source came from, but I, I also saw DBJ's uh, video response about fudging dice. So those are the two things that I really kind of want to talk about and just give my, my two cents on right now. Um, and it, it boils down to really, you know, both topics to me kind of boil down to one specific issue that I see. It's always been around in the community anyway, but it seems to be kind of coming across in a lot of videos lately in my mind. Um, and I'm not saying that I'm innocent of it either, but that's gaming elitism. Um, a lot of people, you know, we, we all game the way that we like to game, and the way that's comfortable for us, the way that's fun for us, the way it's fun for the people that we game with on a regular basis. And I think it's very easy to get in the mindset that, well, this is the best way to game. This is the best way to play Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Or this is the best way to play Call of Cthulhu. Um, and the bottom line is, if, if people are having fun playing these games, and if they are enjoying it with a group of people who are all enjoying it together, um, then I don't think they're doing anything wrong. And I think it's, it's kind of very elitist for us to say, no, 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 that's not the way you roll stats, or no, that's not the way you handle dice rolls, or that's not how you handle immersion and character perspective. You know, all of these things are, are very interpretive, and it just depends on each group and each player what they're comfortable with, what they're happy doing. Um, rolling 3d6 straight down the line, to me, um, is an interesting roleplay experiment. You know, it, some groups would be grand, um, other groups... I could see it being a disaster. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't mind, it might be kind of fun just to try to roll stats, you know, that way and see what I come up with and see if I could, you know, come up with a decent character to play for a couple of sessions, maybe. Um, but in all honesty, I prefer the customization when you get to assign your stats. Um, you can do that with rolling 3d6 again if you want, just roll six sets of, uh, or sorry, six rolls and assign those where you want amongst your ability stats to make the character that you want to play. Or, what I prefer, I prefer the point by mechanic or the stat array mechanic, which is equal to the point by anyway, uh, because you can use the 27 point by system in D&D 5th edition to, to make the exact stats that are in the stat array. I prefer this because it puts all the players on equal ground before they rate up their characters. Everybody's going to have the same amount of points to spend on their statistics. Now they can spend them differently. They can line them up differently. They can choose different class and race combinations to, to change the strengths and weaknesses of their characters. Even using the straight up stat array, forget about point by, you know, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, and 8, I think it is. Um, every character who has those same numbers, you still end up with completely different characters. I, I, I'd be very surprised if you ever ended up with two characters that were almost the same um, in any gaming group of, say, four to six people. There's so much diversity in the combinations of the classes, the races, the backgrounds, and everything that, that you're going to end up with very different characters in the long run anyway. And you're still going to end up with um, a little bit of a disparity in the fact that you know, in my opinion, certain character, class, and race combinations are stronger than others. Um, you know, so it doesn't mean that everybody's going to end up with an equal character. It just means that they're starting off with an equal chance, an equal opportunity, in my opinion. That's why I use it. That's why I like it. Um, and I'll continue to use it. 3D6 down the line? Sure. Fun experiment. If people want to do that, they can go right ahead and do so. Like I said, I would try it maybe for a one-shot or a two-shot. I wouldn't want to play a campaign like that, I don't think, though. Um, I notoriously roll really poorly anyway when I'm rolling statistics, so maybe that's another reason why I'm more leaning towards stat, uh, stat array point by. Quite possible. Um, the other thing, then, we were talking about fudging dice rolls, and uh, in DBJ, I watched his video last night about it, and I, I posted a comment back to him and stuff. He seemed pretty upset about it. I don't know what the original post was. Maybe if anybody knows, you can post it in the comments and let me know. Um, somebody had, had kind of irritated him I had a feeling anyway and again it's it's elitism I think you know if 
dungeon masters want to fudge the dice, they're the DM, they can do that. If players don't like it, that's fine. As long as everybody knows what's going on, they don't have to play in that game. Especially with us now in the tabletop RPG one-shot group, we have over 800 gamers in the group, at least probably 100 of which are actively playing games on a regular basis. There's plenty of opportunity out there to find another group, um, to start your own group. You know, you're not tied in. You don't have to play in this guy's game. You don't have to play in my game. I don't have to play in your game. We can we can find other games. You know, so I don't see that it's an issue that really <laughs> needs to even be um, discussed unless you're simply trying to start an argument or prove for some reason that your way is better than anyone else's way, which just simply isn't true. I know, and I said this in my comment on DPJ's video, that I'm not any less guilty than anybody else on this. I have my own style and I, and I like my style. I like to play a very narrativist um, role-playing style as a you know, kind of a career dungeon master and uh, game master. All of my games, I prefer to kind of take it easy on the rules of the game and the mechanics and focus on the story. Um, you know, things go badly, try to work it into the story and make a cool story out of it. Some people prefer to play gamist style, which is, you know, fine for them. And they probably would not like fudged dice rolls because they want everything to be by the book and by the rules. As Jarl DM, Lloyd Collins always likes to say, the rules control the fun or something like that. Um, fair enough if, if, you know, some people feel that way. Some people want to play specifically rules as written. I don't. I don't mind house rules. I have many house rules that I use in my games, um, and my players seem to enjoy them. So, you know, I don't think that either way is better than the other. At the end of the day, just play the fucking games. However you want, have fun. You don't even need dice. I've played dice of system games. Um, I, in fact, I played one game that was based on a dice of system, and I played another game recently uh, with uh, something about tabletop. Uh, you're all DM, and Maps and Dragons were all in that game. And we didn't even really have a system. We, we decided to trust, try a diceless game. We came up with character concepts, and uh, we just kind of described what was going on in the story. And we played without any dice and without any real rules. And we had a great time. So it really doesn't matter at the end of the day how you want to change the rules, customize it, house rule, fudge dice, roll statistics, don't roll statistics. Just play the games and have fun, and you'll be doing just fine. That's it for me. Talk to you soon.